Hello and welcome back to Metal Machine Shop. This time we're going to look at how to set up the machine vise on the mill table. To do this job accurately you're going to need a dial test indicator and here's one here set up on a magnetic base and we're going to attach this to the underside of the milling machine head. I've set it up so that the needle is roughly in the centre of the vise jaws and I'm just adjusting the dials so that we get a small reading on the DTI. Looking at the vise from above, you can see the problem here. The vise is designed to swivel, but we want to get it set up so that the back jaw is precisely aligned with the x-axis of the mill table, which is going in that direction. So I'm going to set it roughly parallel by eye, like that. And I'm going to wind the x-axis hand wheel until the needle is in the middle of the vise jaw. By eye is good enough. Next, I'm going to wind out the y-axis to move the needle of the dial down to the six o'clock position. It could be anywhere, but it's just convenient in that position. Having done that, I'm now going to wind the x-axis hand wheel so that the DTI moves along the vice jaw. And you can see that the needle is moving up around the dial. With the needle moving in that direction, we know that the vice is tilted so that the left hand end of the jaw is towards us. So I'm just going to gently tap it to move the needle back down to the six o'clock position. Now I'm winding the x-axis back to the middle of the vice jaw and the needle has hardly moved. So I'm just going to do that one more time for a bit of fine adjustment. So winding out the y-axis hand wheel, putting that needle right on the six o'clock position. Then I'm going to wind the x-axis hand wheel along. I've still got a tiny bit of movement, so the left-hand end of the jaw is still slightly towards us. At this point, I'm just going to tap it again with my fingers, move it back to the bottom. And at that point, we're pretty much there. So I'm going to wind it back to the middle. And the needle now is stationary pretty much as we move it along. So that's very accurately set up. Now I'm going to take my spanner, just lightly tighten the nut on the right and lightly tighten the one on the left, which you can't see, but trust me, it's there. Then I'm going to test it again, just to make sure that the tightening the nut hasn't moved the vise. Just adjusted it a bit there. So wind it along. just about see a fractional bit of movement there but that's pretty much spot on so I'm now going to tighten the nuts finally that's the right hand one and that's the left hand one and that's pretty much all there is to it that whole exercise took me probably about a minute I could have done it quicker if I wasn't explaining it to camera the vice is set up extremely accurately and that accuracy of setup will of course be transferred to the work because it's so quick and easy to do that, there's no point trying to save time by doing it by eye or by some other cruder method. This is the first of a series that I'm planning to do on basic machine shop techniques and tips. So if you enjoyed this one, please subscribe to the channel. Check back next time for more. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.